that employees drank beer during dinner while they were on duty to assist in the relief efforts for Craven County. The employees all thought they were off the clock, but once returning to Burke County, they were told they were technically on the clock for the whole time they were there. We were told appropriate disciplinary action has been taken. The 2018 midterms now just four weeks away and women looking to make their voices heard more than ever. It's a movement that really started after President Donald Trump was elected. One day after his inauguration, millions of women worldwide took to the streets in fury over his election. It was possibly the largest protest in U.S. history. Then came the Me Too movement that has rocked the political world. In response to all this, a record number of women have run and won primaries for the U.S. House, U.S. Senate, and Governor seats this year. The power of women not surprising as women's turnout rate has exceeded men's in every midterm election since 1986 and every presidential election since 1980. Polls show this year women have swung even more Democratic than usual, but there are still plenty of women who are supporting Republicans. NBC Charlotte's Tonya Mendez was at an event today where Republican women showed their support for Republican congressional candidate Mark Harris and Tonya. You also heard from Donald Trump Jr. who said something that some say is pretty controversial. Yeah, so this was an event that was supposed to be about empowering women, but Trump Jr. made a joke about the Me Too movement. And while there are some who would question the timing of a joke like that, we talked to one political expert today who said a joke like that actually just galvanizes Trump's base. Gathered at a Charlotte gun range, these Republican women are ready to take their shot come election day. We're a little bit offended when someone says, what about women's issues? Well, generally all they want to talk about is below the waist. We feel like as women, we're intelligent. We think for ourselves, security is a woman's issue. Education is a women's issue. Small business is a woman's issue. A campaign event in Charlotte focusing squarely on the power of women in this year's midterm elections. Women are so powerful, and I think wives and mothers generally are so unified around the same issues. But maybe not unified about how they feel about those issues or who they're backing. A recent Washington Post Char School survey found 54% of women said they preferred Democratic candidates, compared to just 40% who favor Republicans. You take it with a grain of salt. With so many tight races, political star power is stumping in Charlotte. At the event Tuesday, Kimberly Guilfoyle, one of the latest big names to come to town. Thank you so much. Joined by Donald Trump Jr., who, during this photo op with women voters, cracked this joke. Can I say that I'm going to like taking this picture, or am I going to get me too And while a joke like that, at the expense of a major women's empowerment movement, may sound off-color to some... The folks on the other side are going to say this is the perfect example of how they don't take sexual assault seriously. Political science expert Dr. Scott Huffman says it actually fires up his father's base. Republican women since Trump has been elected have kind of doubled down. 